That's it. Get ready to elevate your trading skills as we dive into the world of short-term positional trading strategies. Today, we'll explore this dynamic approach to trading, focusing on techniques that can help you capitalize on short-term market movements. By mastering this strategy, you'll gain insights into identifying profitable opportunities, managing risks, and enhancing your overall trading performance. Stick around to discover the benefits of short-term positional trading and how it can give you an edge in the market. This session is packed with valuable information that you won't want to miss. Short-term positional trading is a strategy where traders hold positions for several days to a few weeks, aiming to profit from short-term market movements. Unlike day trading, which involves buying and selling within the same day, or swing trading, which typically spans a few days to a week short-term, positional trading allows traders to capture gains from trends that develop over a slightly longer period. This approach differs from other trading strategies in several key ways. Day trading requires constant monitoring of the markets and quick decision-making to capitalize on intraday price movements. Swing trading, while less intensive, still demands regular attention to daily price fluctuations. In contrast, short-term, positional trading focuses on identifying trends and holding positions long enough to benefit from these trends without the need for constant market oversight. One of the main advantages of short-term, positional trading is that it allows traders to avoid the stress and time commitment of day trading. It provides more flexibility as traders do not need to be glued to their screens all day. Additionally, this strategy can be more forgiving as it allows for the natural ebb and flow of market movements over a longer time frame, reducing the impact of short-term volatility. Furthermore, short-term positional trading can be highly profitable for those who can identify strong trends and manage their risk effectively. By holding positions for several days to weeks, traders can take advantage of larger price movements, potentially leading to higher returns compared to day trading or swing trading. This strategy also allows for more thoughtful and strategic decision-making as traders have more time to analyze market conditions and make informed trades. Understanding and mastering short-term positional trading can provide a balanced approach to trading, combining the potential for significant gains with the flexibility and reduced stress of longer-term strategies. This makes it an attractive option for traders looking to capitalize on short-term market trends without the intensity trading. Setting up for short-term, positional trading begins with selecting the right stocks or assets. Focus on assets with strong, consistent trends and sufficient liquidity to ensure smooth entry and exit from positions. Look for stocks that show clear price movements over several days to weeks, as these are more likely to provide profitable opportunities. The importance of using both technical and fundamental analysis cannot be overstated. Technical analysis involves examining price charts and using indicators to identify trends and potential entry and exit points. Fundamental analysis, on the other hand, involves evaluating a company's financial health industry position, and overall market conditions to determine its intrinsic value. For technical analysis, key indicators and tools are essential for analyzing potential trades. Moving averages are a fundamental tool that helps smooth out price data to identify the direction of the trend. For example, a 50-day moving average can highlight medium-term trends, while a 2 100-day moving average can indicate long-term trends. When the price is above these moving averages, it suggests an uptrend, and when below, a downtrend. The Relative Strength Index RSI is another valuable tool. 
RSI measures the speed and change of price movements and helps identify overbought or oversold conditions. An RSI above 70 suggests that a stock is overbought and might be due for a pullback, while an RSI below 30 indicates that it is oversold and could be due for a rebound. Using RSI alongside moving averages can provide a more comprehensive view of market conditions and potential trade opportunities. In addition to these, volume indicators can help confirm the strength of a trend. For example, increasing volume during an uptrend can indicate strong buying interest, suggesting the trend is likely to continue. Conversely, decreasing volume might signal a weakening trend. Combining these technical indicators with fundamental analysis gives you a well-rounded view of the market. Fundamental analysis might involve looking at earnings reports, news releases, and economic indicators to gauge the broader market environment. This combined approach helps ensure that the stocks you select for short-term positional trading have both strong technical setups and solid underlying fundamentals. By carefully selecting stocks using a blend of technical and fundamental analysis and applying key indicators like moving averages and RSI, you can set yourself up for success in short-term positional trading. This strategic approach will help you identify the best opportunities and manage your trades effectively. Identifying the right entry and exit points is crucial for successful short-term positional trading. Let's start with determining entry points using chart patterns and trend analysis. Look for patterns such as head and shoulders, double tops and bottoms, and flags. These patterns can signal potential reversals or continuations in the market. Trend analysis involves identifying the overall direction of the market by examining price charts over different time frames. Using tools like moving averages and trend lines can help confirm the strength and direction of the trend. When you identify a chart pattern, wait for confirmation before entering a trade. For example, if you spot a double bottom pattern, you might wait for the price to break above the resistance level formed between the two bottoms before entering a long position. Similarly, in an uptrend, you might look for pullbacks to key support levels or moving averages as potential entry points. Entering a trade when the price pulls back to a support level can provide a lower risk entry point within the context of a broader uptrend. Setting exit points is equally important to manage risk and secure profits. Use profit targets and stop loss orders to define your exit strategy. Profit targets are predetermined levels where you will take profits based on technical indicators or historical price levels. For instance, if you enter a trade at $50, you might set a profit target at $55 based on a previous resistance level or a measured move from a chart pattern. Stop loss orders help limit potential losses if the trade moves against you. Place stop loss orders just below key support levels in an uptrend or above resistance levels in a downtrend. For example, if you enter a trade at $50 with a support level at $48, you might set your stop loss at $47. This ensures that if the price drops below $48, your position will be sold at $47, limiting your loss. Let's look at some examples of entry and exit strategies for short-term positional trades. Suppose you identify a bull flag pattern in a stock that is in an uptrend. The stock is consolidating after a strong upward move, forming a flag pattern. You decide to enter the trade when the price breaks above the upper trend line of the flag at $100. You set a profit target at $110 based on the height of the flagpole added to the breakout point. To manage risk, you place a stop loss order at $95 
just below the lower trend line of the flag. In another scenario, imagine a stock in a down trend forms a double top pattern. You plan to enter a short position when the price breaks below the neckline of the double top at $200. You set a profit target at $180 near a previous support level. To protect against a reversal, you place a stop loss order at $210, just above the recent highs of the double top. By carefully determining entry points using chart patterns and trend analysis, and setting exit points with profit targets and stop loss orders, you can create a structured approach to short term positional trading. These strategies help manage risk and maximize potential returns, providing a disciplined framework for trading success. Stop loss orders are essential in positional trading for managing risk and protecting your investments. They help limit potential losses by automatically closing a trade when the price reaches a predetermined level, ensuring you don't hold onto a losing position longer than necessary. This is crucial for maintaining a healthy trading account. There are two main types of stop loss orders, market stop loss orders and stop limit orders. A market stop loss order triggers a sale at the best available market price once the stop price is reached. This guarantees that the trade will be executed, but the exact execution price may vary, especially in fast moving markets. For instance, set a market stop loss order at $50 and the price drops rapidly, the order might execute at $49.50 or $49, depending on market conditions. In contrast, a stop limit order sets both a stop price and a limit price. When the stop price is reached, the order becomes a limit order to sell at the specified limit price or better. This provides more control over the execution price, but carries the risk that the order may not be filled if the market price moves past the limit price too quickly. For example, if you set a stop price at $50 and a limit price at $49, the order will only execute if it can sell at $49 or better. If the market price falls below $49 too quickly, the order might not be filled. Setting effective stop loss orders involves strategic planning. Place your stop loss orders at levels that allow for natural price fluctuations without triggering the stop loss prematurely. This might involve setting stop losses just below key support levels in an uptrend or just above resistance levels in a downtrend. Additionally, using a percentage-based stop loss can help standardize your risk management. For example, you might decide to set a stop loss at 5% below your entry price, ensuring that your potential loss is limited to a manageable percentage of your investment. Review and adjust your stop loss orders as the trade progresses and market conditions change. This can help you lock and minimize potential losses. For instance, if your trade moves in your favor, you might adjust your stop loss to a higher level to protect some of your gains. By understanding and effectively using stop loss orders, you can protect your capital, manage risk, and enhance your positional trading strategy. Whether you choose market stop loss or stop limit orders, these tools are essential for maintaining control over your trades and ensuring long-term trading success. Market limit stop and stop limit orders are essential tools for managing trades and reducing risk in positional trading. Understanding their meaning and use can significantly enhance your trading strategy. A market limit stop order is designed to buy or sell a security at a specified price or better after a given stop price has been reached. This type of order combines the features of a stop order and a limit order. 
When the stop price is reached, the market limit stop order becomes a limit order to buy or sell at the limit price or better. This ensures that you get the desired price or better, but there is a risk that the order may not be executed if the market price surpasses the limit price before the trade can be completed. A stop limit order, on the other hand, involves setting both a stop price and a limit price. Once the stop price is triggered, the order becomes a limit order to execute at the specified limit price or better. This approach provides more precise control over the execution price compared to a market stop order. However, there is a risk that the order may not be filled if the market moves beyond the limit price too quickly. These orders can significantly help manage trades and reduce risk in various scenarios. For instance, let's say you are trading a stock currently priced at $100. You want to limit your potential loss, so you set a stop limit order with a stop price at $95 and a limit price at $94. If the stock price falls to $95, the order is triggered and becomes a limit order to sell at $94 or better. This ensures that you do not sell below $94, providing a controlled exit point. Similarly, consider you are holding a long position in an uptrend and want to lock in profits as the price rises. You could set a market limit stop order to sell if the stock reaches $110 stop price with a limit price of $109. If the stock hits $110, the order triggers and becomes a limit order to sell at $109 or better, ensuring you capture gains without Using these orders effectively requires understanding market conditions and setting appropriate stop and limit prices. Regularly monitoring and adjusting these orders as the market evolves can help you stay aligned with your trading strategy and risk management goals. Incorporating market limit stop and stop limit orders into your positional trading strategy can provide a balanced approach to controlling risk while maximizing potential returns. By carefully planning and executing these orders, you can enhance your ability to navigate market fluctuations with confidence. Managing risk is crucial in positional trading to protect your investments and ensure long-term success. Effective risk management strategies help mitigate potential losses and keep your trading plan on track. One key technique for managing risk is proper position sizing. This involves determining the amount of capital to allocate to each trade based on your overall portfolio size and risk tolerance. By limiting the size of your positions, you can control the potential loss from any single trade. A common rule of thumb is to risk no more than 1-2% of your total trading capital on any one trade. This way, even if a trade doesn't go as planned, your overall portfolio remains protected. Using stop-loss orders is another essential risk management technique. Stop-loss orders automatically close a trade when the price reaches a predetermined level, preventing further losses. Setting a stop loss at a reasonable level, such as just below the key support level in an uptrend, helps protect your capital and allows you to exit a trade before losses escalate. Maintaining discipline and consistency in your trading approach is also critical. Emotions like fear and greed can lead to impulsive decisions that deviate from your trading plan. By sticking to your predefined rules for entering and exiting trades, as well as your risk management strategies, you can make more rational decisions and avoid common trading pitfalls. Consistently reviewing and adjusting your risk management techniques is vital. As market conditions change, you may need to update your position sizes, stop loss levels, and other aspects of your trading plan to stay aligned with your risk tolerance and trading goals. 
by emphasizing the importance of risk management using techniques like position sizing and stop loss orders and maintaining discipline and consistency, you can effectively manage risk in positional trading. This approach helps protect your investments and supports long-term trading success. Maximizing success in positional trading requires staying disciplined and avoiding emotional trading. Emotions like fear and greed can cloud judgment and lead to impulsive decisions that deviate from your trading plan. To maintain discipline, set clear rules for entering and exiting trades and stick to them regardless of market fluctuations. Developing a routine and adhering to your strategy helps prevent emotional reactions and promotes rational decision making. Regularly reviewing and adapting your trading strategies is essential for continuous improvement. The market is dynamic and what works today might not work tomorrow. Schedule routine evaluations of your strategies to identify strengths, weaknesses and areas for improvement. This ongoing process of assessment and adjustment ensures your approach remains effective and aligned with current market conditions. Being flexible and willing to tweak, your strategies can significantly enhance your trading performance. Keeping a trading journal is a powerful tool for tracking your progress and learning from mistakes. In your journal, document every trade, including your entry and exit points, the rationale behind your decisions, and the outcomes. Also, note any emotional factors that may have influenced your trades. Reviewing your trading journal regularly can provide valuable insights into your trading habits and behaviors. It helps you identify patterns, understand what works best, and make daily driven improvements to your trading strategy. A comprehensive record of your trading journey boosts your confidence and motivates you to stay committed to continuous improvement. By incorporating these tips, staying disciplined, regularly reviewing and adapting strategies, and keeping a detailed trading journal, you can significantly enhance your success in positional trading. This structured and reflective approach will better equip you to navigate the market and achieve your trading goals. Today, we've covered essential tips for maximizing success in positional trading. We discussed the importance of staying disciplined and avoiding emotional trading, regularly reviewing and adapting your trading strategies, and keeping a detailed trading journal to track your performance and learn from mistakes. Using stop-loss orders and understanding market limit stops are crucial for managing risk and protecting your investments. These tools help you maintain control over your trades and ensure you can navigate the market more effectively. We'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences. Please share them in the comments below and engage with our community. Your feedback helps us create content that truly benefits you. Stay tuned for our upcoming content where we'll dive into advanced trading techniques and explore more positional trading strategies. You won't want to 